Welcome, this is Melinda Barlow, CZT, Certified Zen Tangle Teacher. And today's lesson is the Tangle Easy by Emoko, and I cannot pronounce her last name, CZT, she, I believe she's from Japan, and but I'm not real sure. Um, yes, she is from Japan, and it's a, this is a beautiful tangle. But my purpose with this one is to show you the tangle, and I've done it in several, you know, different ones, but to also talk about odorless paint thinner and another alternative. And so I am going to draw easy on a uh, phi tile, and so I'm going to come in a little bit on this phi tile so you can see it a little better. And the first thing I'm going to draw is, you know me, I always make a little bit of a change. But I'm just going to put a stem in sorts up on my tile. And then we're going to start out with easy. And it's a little frowny face. And then it scallops up and then to a point and then back down and then you need some kind of some binds in it or it just doesn't look quite right so we'll try it again this time going back the opposite direction so I'm going this way then a little scallop up to a point and then back down and I came right back down on the side of my little stem so we're going to do another one and this one's going to holly bot underneath a little bit of that one because it can. <laughs> okay, I just about. We're going to go in and then up. That one has a little deformity on it but I wasn't paying a lot of attention to what I was doing there and I was thinking something else and I wasn't thinking the scallop and that happens to me if I don't pay real close attention but there's no mistake in Zentangle only opportunity so this frowny face then the scallop up to a point and then back down and I have to kind of say that to myself frowny face scallop and then back down and I don't mind them right kind of together that kind of gives it that organic look or you can just do them on one side and they can be smaller and then I think I'm going to leave it right there but I think I'm going to draw another stem coming out from right here and I'm going to try to, to get me some that are coming from, look like they're coming from this stem. Scallop up and back down, out, scallop and back down. That kind of helped me with that. And you can see that this is a just a very lovely um, organic tangle. And I might be tempted, like on the other ones, to put orbs in here. But I think I'm just going to come back in here and add a little... Um, what would we call this? A flux. A little flux just coming up out of that just to give it something different. Use a little flux on your stems. And that gives it just a little bit different look. 
And on this one, I also really loved. I came back and I aurad mine. Just gave it a little aura around the outside edge. I don't know why I like the aura on it, but it just, I don't know, it gave it kind of a, you know, just a different little look. And I'm even going to aura that mistake. Or, as we know, there's no mistakes in Zentangle. Only opportunities. And I can just aura, you know, around the whole thing. But there we have, they kind of look like a little elf ear. I better balance this out just a little bit with some fescue. I love fescue and it helps to give things some balance. And also, on this one, there isn't a lot of drama that I see on this tangle. So maybe if I come back in and I do my little flux in, I color those in so they are, you know, a darker color. Your eye kind of goes to that. So I don't know if that's going to work, but we'll see. I just know I need a little bit darker. I need some more drama in here, and I kind of smudged that one. But that gives it a little bit more drama on my my tangle and I could even put a little flux coming right into my into my little plant you know right in that up that stem that are right on those leaf like things okay now we're going to take a little opportunity for this just to dry a little bit because if you put an odorless paint thinner or anything on top of um, a, you can easily um, smear your paint. And I'm using, I usually use uh, Prisma colors, but I'm going to use a Rembrandt Lyra, and this is a poly color. And this is kind of a more of a, a light crimson is what it is. So I'm just going to put a little color down in these corners. And I'm going to blend it here in just a minute using two different methods of, I think I'm going to run that up that. Um, line a little bit. Two different methods of blending your color pencils. And actually any color pencil will blend with this method. And um, your paper may make a difference in how it blends. Um, so be prepared for that. Your paper can make a difference whatever your tiles are made out of. So, here we go. I am going to get me two fairly clean um, shading stumps. They've got a little bit on them, so I'm going to clean them off 
with they're dry and I'm just going to clean them off with the emery board and um, so they don't have any color on them and um, I cleaned them off and now I'm going to start this is odorless paint thinner in this little tub and I keep it in this it's got a little sponge that's mainly so it won't spill if I'm um, careless and uh, you can see that there's odor and now I picked it up on my um, shading stump and so I'm going to use it right here on this these ones coming out to the side and I'm just going to blend so you can see that that odorless paint thinner blends well and I've had many questions about this and one of the main things is that they say how can you use that that is so toxic well um, just recently and I'm not going to mention her name. You know who you are. I sent you an email. Just called and asked me to give a little bit more information. So I got thinking about people have said that they they have used other things like baby oil. And so in this one, I have put mineral oil. So on this shading stump, I have odorless paint thinner and here I just have some mineral oil that I've put in this little and you can't smell it at all there's no odor to the mineral oil and we're just going to see what the difference is in the shading with mineral oil or odorless paint thinner so if you're not, you know, you're you're not willing to have that toxic, or uh, I I don't worry about it because it's such a small amount. But if it concerns you, then you don't you can use this. Looks like you can use the mineral oil. It takes a little bit more mineral oil to blend it, and I see I picked up a little bit of my um. Black. I didn't let it dry quite enough so I'm just blending but I'm having to use quite a bit of mineral oil to get it to to blend like I did my odorless paint thinner and here the odorless paint thinner also um, picked up and kind of bled my my ink and if I'm careful a little bit more careful around it and let it dry just a little bit more and it's mainly over the where I went back and made my flux a little um, darker but I'm having to kind of load that mineral oil on there I don't know if it's just me or And I'm using a food grade mineral oil so um, it's non-toxic at you know to if you're worried about that and there we go you can see is there much of a difference between where I used the um, odorless paint thinner or the mineral oil this side these were done with the odorless paint thinner. This side was done with the mineral oil. And you can see that there is not much difference in either one. But boy, this sure needs a little bit more. Um, it looks a pretty pale to me and pretty um, generic. So I probably will come back in here and... I'm looking at my pencils and I, I'm going to add a little green up my stem. And sometimes I add um, 
um, I will go back and add a little uh, I'm gonna blend this with my the mineral oil again just gonna blend it up this stem so that it and this side so so it has but what I was saying is sometimes I will go back and add a little graphite but mainly I will try to add more pencil this is French gray and it has a little dark um, a darker color to it so I can add this right over the top of my where I want just a little bit more color or um, just a little bit shade darker and I'm just going to blend it with my same one I use mineral oil just to give it a little graphite looking look like I've used a little graphite and I'm gonna come back on this side pick up my French gray again and I am going to add a little French gray down here but this time I'm gonna use my odorless paint thinner And blend those up but you can see that you can do either one and I've been really into making borders with um, my my with just with color but this time I think I'm gonna come back in here and I think I'm going to do a border just a simple little border of lines and dots so I can add this to a you know a, a Christmas card or a gift card or something and it just kind of finishes off the tangle when we have a little border when we haven't put a border on here to begin with and I'm not real precise about how I do my little dots and my my border but you can see how that kind of finishes it up and also I think it needs a little bit more fescue just to balance things out and that helps and also sometimes just putting three little dots like this in a background can make a difference those two dots almost touch each other but not quite and there you have the tangle easy with a little tutorial about mineral oil or odorless paint thinner and you can make the choice what you use in the little pots but I always keep a lid on both of them because then they don't spill and we don't get any odors in in the um, studio and I'm, I'm gonna come back in I, I just can't resist I'm gonna come back in here and I'm going to add a little green around here just can't resist and this time I'm going to blend it oops I have to smell my smell my shading stumps to see which one I used I'm going to blend this with I'm using the mineral oil just because I can And I'm just laying it, my shading stump on its side and just blending out that color 
So it just kind of blends into the background of my tile. And who knows, I may switch over to mineral oil instead of the odorless paint thinner. I appreciate that um, question coming to me and um, and what what it helps you, how it helps you kind of think again what you've been doing and there we have odorless paint thinner versus mineral oil and a wonderful little tangle called easy thanks again for watching don't forget to subscribe new videos on Tuesdays and Thursdays and have a great day.